Hello everyone, Tammy here. Welcome to my channel. Today <clears throat> is Monday. I have nothing recorded ahead. Yeah, it's been a weird week. So anyway, um, I'm trying to get this recorded, edited, and uploaded today because it's Monday and I'm calling it Mixed Media Monday slash art uh, let's see, what is it called? Inspiration Art Weekly Challenge. So it's a twofer. And the uh, Mixed Media Monday is just my thing. Um, I go back and forth between Mixed Media Monday and Mandala Monday. Although I think Mandala Monday is going to move to more of a uh, monthly thing, uh, which is fine. It's, you know, Mixed Media slash Mandala Monday. I can, you know... Um, choose what content to do. So the Inspired Art Weekly Challenge is hosted by Shannon at Mixed Media Minnesota. And uh, I did not post, I don't think I posted one last week. Literally, last week is a blur to me. <laughs> so I'll actually have to go back and look at my calendar and um, see what I did. I have not um, done any calendar planning that for this week. So yeah, everything's way off kilter for me, but I decided to come in here and do this. So this is a project inspired by, I, I know I've seen many people have versions of this. This is from uh, Carol at Free Spirit Arts, and it's faux leather. And she sent me this piece in, um, in either a kit that I bought from her or um, a channel challenge winner um, package that I got from her. So... Um, and I have watched her video. I haven't watched it recently, so I'm kind of going on memory. Um, but I want to make my own. Um, for, I want to use it for a cover. So, so I have some just, this is just, this is some paper we had on a roll. Um, and I don't, I actually, I have no idea where we got it. So I think my husband used it many years ago for... Um, another business he was doing and I got the leftovers um, so so this is what I have so I have this I have a couple of sprays I have this um, and I can't remember if these work or not this is um, perfect pearls mist heirloom gold I'm kind of going for an, a just a totally weird funky look um, I have these Dilutions, um, Metted Chocolate? Melted. Melted. <laughs> melted Chocolate. And I know this is, um, what do you call it? Water soluble, so I will have to probably use a lot of this to get it to, to stay. Um, and then I have some of this, um, uh, Marabou Art Spray. I believe it's black. This is waterproof. Um, I don't want a lot of black. So, um, so yeah, so I'm not sure how much of that I'm going to use. And I am going to use some of my, um, I have walnut and, whoops, where's my other one? Yeah, espresso. Oh. Uh, ground espresso. So I have a couple of these that I'm going to try. And then I have um, a green that I think is gorgeous. It's this Emerald City and it's a stays on. So I'm going to try that. And um, I'm going to spray some water first. And I uh, need to find my spray bottle. I'll be right back. Okay, found my water bottle, uh, got it all filled up, and I'm just going to spritz this a few times. It's always fun to try something I've never done before <laughs> on camera. Fun stuff. Okay, there's the water. So I'm going to do some of this brown. I don't know if I actually needed the water, but...
Okay, so there's some brown. A little bit of black. I won't do too much. So I'm going to do one more brown. I don't know if you can, if this whole piece is in, in, in um, frame. Probably not, but oh, black doesn't work. It might be kind of interesting to just do some dots like that. So it's, I'm not sure if this pearls will work either. So perfect pearls mist heirloom gold. Oh, that does work. Ooh, that's pretty. it up a little bit, I guess. Don't know if I should let it dry. Okay, so let's just undo this. So that brown's a really interesting color. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna, oh, I have another one of these, so I'm not worried about ruining this particularly. Ooh, that's pretty. Some gold, some gold on it. Okay, well that's that one. So let's try this one. This green one it almost looks more bluish. Just doing it a little bit uh, lighter. I like how it looks, though. It's pretty. That spray, that brown spray, that's the only spray I have. And it's um, it's definitely more on the coppery looking side. 
which is okay. It's not, I wanted something really brown. Um, that's why I'm rubbing some more of this, um, this, uh, what you call it, um, walnut, walnut stain on there. So I'm going to wad it up again. And just, uh, see what happens. I don't necessarily want to tear it, but I'm not heartbreaking broken if it does get a tear. Um, it's really thick paper, so I don't think that will happen. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty cool looking. So then the question I ask myself is, is it done? Is it? Is it? I don't know. I might, um, I, I like this piece, but I'm thinking if I do this in the future, I'm going to get more of a um, brown, very dark brown ink instead of this melted chocolate. Okay, so again, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to let it dry. Before I put the, um, I want to put some matte gel on top, not Mod Podge because here in this climate it will never dry and I don't want it to be sticky so I know that the, the matte gel um, yeah that's pretty cool okay I think I'm gonna call that done uh, that really didn't take very long the back side looks like that. This is the front side. And let's see. Where's Carol's piece? Okay, so mine is definitely um, darker than hers. Um, yeah, okay. I'm, ha I'm happy with it. And hers is a little shiny. She made her own, so she made her own glue. Um, it's a clear glue that she put some dye in. Um, and so I think that's what she used on this. I definitely, um, definitely saturated my piece with more color. Uh, I like it though. So I think I just can't, I'm going to let it dry. Okay. So executive decision. I'm going to let it dry and then um, I'll put the matte gel on it and then because that'll also take a while to dry and I do want to at least get one video uh, up today <laughs> or this week or what I, I don't yeah my week's looking really weird so um, so yeah so I will do that call this a video and then for sure um, on fantastic Friday I'll show you what the finished product looks like for sure if not sooner um, I really like it it's pretty uh, it'll make an interesting cover um, so yeah so thank you for watching um, I think I've been working on covers so I think the next video you see will be um, uh, working on some covers I, my dot when my daughter moved in she had a bunch of um, like snack boxes and I it's like si snack boxes and size of boxes that my husband and I never get I was like oh that's a really interesting size so the sizes are some of them are smaller and square um, they're just they were just really interesting and intriguing to me so I grabbed them all and I kind of um, prepped the boxes but I haven't one of them I've put paper on and I will show you that um, but the other ones I'll do I'll, I'll make those on camera so um, so yeah so that's what's coming up so thank you for joining me on this very short and sweet um, um, mixed media Monday slash inspired art inspired art weekly challenge um, and I've been wanting to make this for so long and I've, and it's so funny cause I shied away cause I'm like, Oh, it looks so hard. It's so complicated. Oh my gosh. It's so easy. You all, it's so easy. 
So um, if you have the right colors, like I said, I'm not sure I'm in love with that color, but um, I do like the little pearl essence um, on it. I do like that addition. Um, so yeah, so thanks for watching and uh, I'll be seeing you soon. Bye.